You only owe me your entire existence on this planet. Please, Gordon, by all means, go sing, dance, date. Oh, Papa, I'm so terribly sorry. Hello, and congratulations to you, Matt Holtz. Uh, this, this is great. You won the 11 second club, and I can see why. I really like the drawing style here. Um, and your animation. My name is Keith Sinte, and uh, I've been a professional animator for uh, over 20, 21, 22 years now. Um, I started out as a traditional artist animator at Disney Feature Animation, and I worked on uh, Pocahontas and The Hunchback of Notre Dame, Mulan, Tarzan, those types of movies. Eventually, I went to DreamWorks and worked on uh, Sinbad and the one about the horses, Spirit. So um, this is right up my alley, taking a look at this with traditional animation. I love it. Um, but, but after those films, I, I uh, got into all CG films like Surf's Up and Open Season and then eventually visual effects, starting with uh, I Am Legend with Will Smith. More recently, I worked on the Transformers films. I worked on Tron. Um, and most recently, uh, I was had the opportunity to work on, you can probably tell by the gear behind me, I'm a big Star Wars fan, and I actually got to work on Rogue One, as well as uh, The Last Jedi, which was a huge thrill for me. Um, so I kind of uh, come at this looking at it from a complete animation standpoint, and so whether it's traditional or CG or even stop motion, the principles all apply, and it looks like you have a really good handle on the principles of animation here. Um, I love the layout of this. I think it's great, and, and it's just a thrill for me to see someone doing traditional animation again. Your characters, is, character design is is uh, fantastic. I mean, there's no no doubt about it. This guy in particular, actually, both characters are really really fun. I love his um, starting pose here, and how he's behind her and sort of cowering and everything. So let's take a look at this. I added some annotations already to your work, but. Um, so let's roll through this and uh, and we can take a look together. Okay. You only owe me your entire existence. And it please by all means go sing and dance. Date. I'm so terribly sorry. You only owe me your entire existence. And it please by all means go sing and dance. Date. How appropriate all of uh uh, the, the the how do you design these characters? I don't know if you had these characters before this competition or whatever, but this guy's voice is, to me is spot on. I mean, it's just like it was custom made for that. Okay, so um, overall your drawing style obviously is great. Uh, you kept your volumes when she's moving around and turning her head and everything. So just a couple of uh, minor things. Now I know that just by looking at this you weren't able to complete everything you probably wanted to especially because I think uh, you're given a month to do this um, so obviously going if you go back into this I'm sure you're gonna add him doing the panting because we can hear him in there you only own the entire existence sniveling and <laughs> making all that noise um, the other thing would be of course to add in any ancillary movements you can to the to the dress but that's all secondary um, stuff that I, I'm positive you would add later. Same thing with at the end here when she freezes. Here. You have some overlap on her on her sleeve and everything, but I can, you know, but fantastic. I, uh, so we won't even um, talk about that because it's just something you can add later. But what I did want to mention is when she goes into uh, all this, her lip sync is really great. And I like that you call it her lips red for this. Oh, entire existence. Only your entire existence. On this planet. This uh, deadpan way she says planet with her half-lidded, sort of ex extremely sarcastic face is, is great. So when she says please, though, um, you wind up for this great P shape here. But then I think what you could do is and I drew it kind of poorly in here but it's really you could exaggerate and draw out her her mouth here um, just the eraser 
to be erase, erase, erase. So here's what what you had for your face. So dragging out the this mouth for the please shape, it would help us read it. I I you have a I don't know if it's an upload thing, but there's two frames that were right on top of each other, so I just copied them. So um when I was drawing over this, you can see here, I can just do 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 Makes that a little bit more pleasant to look at. So anyway, when she goes through and says, please, please, it's almost something that we'll sense, but if this is definitely in like, you know, it got cleaned up, um, we would read that. And I also open her mouth up big here. Um, this is like frame 107. So again, let me just uh, erase so you can see what the original was. So you already had the S shape in there. So I would drag it, drag, drag, drag up, pop up into this. So it's please, and almost like the dra the jaw is dragging behind. Again, it's something that you can really, you've exaggerated a lot of this stuff really beautifully, but that's one spot that um, you can also play with there. In fact, maybe the jaw is down a little bit further here. It snaps up into this S. Please, by all means, go sit and dent. The other thing I was that I was looking at is this, and I again apologize for my drawing. I'm not very good with the Wacom tablet, but um, so she says date. date. Oh, the D and date. You and she's gonna pop up out of it. So you really want to exaggerate that squash down even further. So she gets into her D. Here's my D. Really creepy looking uh, drawing. So, but anyway, um, so here's what you had which is nice but I think you could really smush her face down and push her cheeks out even further and then pop her up into the into this date, date. in fact you could even I'm not sure where the A is here but make your A bigger see here day a snap it up into your t so let's see Date. and you probably already noticed that I was looking at the how you could exaggerate the cup going up before it goes down movement in her accent accentuation here of date so she's got her cup here and then brings it up, up, and then slams it down. So basically, it's like it's an anticipation before the. Right now, she kind of just goes from here down. It'd be nice to see date. You know, she really brings it up, overlaps it, and drops it down. Now, I wasn't sure what to tell you much about this ending here because her arms just kind of stick. I think you were going for date, and her hands kind of do this vibration thing, which is kind of cool. Um, but since there isn't enough there to go by yet, I kind of left that part alone. Date. So looking at him, I mean, he's just a great big ball of fun. I I love this character so much. My gosh, it's just fantastically drawn. Date. All right. So he does a breath in here that, that I wish you had um, animated. It's right in the middle of his, before he's going to say his, oh, bother. And he goes, oh, he makes his breath in. Oh, I tried to place it, but I couldn't scrub and hear the sound for some reason. So, um, it's somewhere in here. Looks like he's talking, but anyway, this, it's, I was just trying to do an open mouth where he's taking the breath, but just listen. Let me wind it back. Date. So, oh, bother. Oh, I'm so, so when he does it, oh, that's a good opportunity whenever you're animating, um, to listen for those breaths and animate those as well. So it's actually not just his mouth do the, oh, I'm so sorry, before his line or whatever, but also figure out, you know, that his shoulders might come up into something, you know, changing the shape a little bit. Oh, boom, and then back down into your fatty squash guy. It's almost like, oh, just a quick, oh, 
Now, probably what I drew is too much, but that's just kind of the idea. You only owe me the entire existence and it. Please, by all means, go to <laughs> Please, this is such a great uh, frame here with her eyes rolling. Please, by all means, Because you have this nice look up, and then she looks to screen left. And then a really nice, whoops, another really nice transition to the next pose. By all means, go sit and dance. Date. In fact, I think you could bring up the coffee cup even higher, maybe, to really push this. I mean, what if... Brings it, like, way up here. Doot, doot, doot. It would be up here. Rid of. Let's see, kind of hard to do this straight ahead, but I'll give it a try. So from here, starts to bring it down. You can even play with a frame of str of really stretching this cup, even because you move so fast. You're probably aware of this, but um, for those of you out there that might be listening, whenever we do a stretch drawing in animation with traditional animation it's because we didn't have the ability to do motion blur so it sort of takes the place of motion blur and with that in mind what you want to do with a stretched drawing is to have it occur on one frame possibly two but not three otherwise your object will look rubbery so if you're going to stretch something in traditional animation you want to only you want to feel it rather than see it so it's going to be something that's implied so something like this cup stretching, you can get away with it as long as it's on one frame. Where is it? Anyway, you get the idea. And all that business. So, um... Really nice work. And, uh... I appreciate you letting me take a look at it and give you some notes along the way. But uh, overall, this is this is a really beautiful piece of animation. You should be very proud of it. And if you can get back in there and polish it, finish it off, uh, you know you can keep it rough like this. That's I you know I love seeing this kind of thing. But this guy, I really wish he was in the beginning <laughs> breathing. But I like I said, I'm I'm positive that that's just because you didn't have time needed. But anyway, um. Yeah, if uh Yeah, if you get uh I hope, well anyway, I hope that feedback helps you and that you have a very long and prosperous career and you have as much fun animating as I do. So, it's been a pleasure and take care. Good luck in your future.